topic for our last chapter is cerebral infection or stroke so let's get started so the cerebral infection or as i have also told you it is also known as a stroke or ischemic stroke is a condition which occurs when the blood supply to your brain is interrupted or reduced or prevented by the any circumstances then the brain is not getting the oxygen and nutrients so when they are not getting these essential components the brain cells they begin to die in minutes okay so it's a medical emergency actually so its treatment prompt treatment is very very crucial so you need to take an early action so that you can reduce the damage to the brain or any other complications so if we talk about the symptoms of the strokes so there are so many symptoms for the stroke but i am just enlisting the few important one like the person who is going to have the stroke is going to have trouble in speaking or understanding of what other persons are saying there will be paralysis attack or numbness of the face arm or leg the person will have problems in seeing something with one or both eyes he may have severe headaches he may have trouble in walking or having weakness or paralysis in your limbs means both limbs okay dizziness will be there with the vertigo okay there will be confusion and drooping of face on one side okay if we talk about the evaluation then how person can evaluate that a person is going to have stroke so we can evaluate it on the basis of fast that is face arm speech and time the face if you can see that the person is drooping on one side of its face and hard to move it it's the first evaluating point arms if they raise their arms or they drift downwards then you have a significant difficulty raising the arm this is the other significance if you talk about the speech the person may stammered or slurred in the speech okay or otherwise have a strange accent of speech okay time the answer of this is that the person if you are asking a person what is the time he will be very difficult it will be very difficult for that person to tell you what the time exactly is so these are the main four points to evaluate a person is going to have what we call the stroke then the, we talk about if we talk about the causes then the causes there will be two types of stroke one is ischemic stroke that is a block artery and the other one is hemorrhagic stroke that is the bursting of the blood vessel ischemic stroke this is the most common type of stroke okay and in this condition the blood vessels they get narrowed or blocked due to some kind of uh, blood clot or plaque okay these narrowing of the blood vessels allows for the stroke condition whereas the hemorrhagic stroke is on the other hand is when the blood vessels they are narrowed they are being uh, taken up the place being taken up by the plaque at a severe condition when the uh, vessels are not getting not taking much pressure they break up they rupture okay the factor, uh, factors related to the hemorrhagic strokes are the high blood pressure over treatment with the anticoagulants okay bulges in the blood vessels that is aneurysms or trauma due to any accident or high protein content deposits in the vessel walls okay ischemic stroke going to lead for hemorrhage complications if we talk about then the main complications will be person may get paralyzed he may have difficulty in talking or swallowing the food there will be the memory loss 
there will be some emotional problems also he may have pain in head and brain and there will be changes in his behavior okay risk factors as i have already told you the main risk factor is high blood pressure high cholesterol a person who is smoking is on the risk having diabetes is the biggest risk factor increasing age and cancer okay how you prevent this condition is by controlling your high blood pressure by lowering the amount of your cholesterol okay by quitting tobacco that is by quitting smoking or by managing diabetes by maintaining a healthy weight and by eating a diet which is rich in fruits and vegetable and by regularly doing exercises and avoiding alcohol smoking and if you are taking drugs even that okay diagnosis can be made by medical history blood test ct scan mri and ecg whereas the treatment if we talk about it is based on the main three conditions your signs and symptoms the type of the stroke on the basis of that you are having medication surgery and after that rehabilitation so thank you